This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. tonight yes midnight on the east coast of the united states of america yeah 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 yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah. hi how are you how you doing you know something i think i've got to, i've actually looks better tonight i uh, i did some adjustments on my picture and um uh, gee it it just looks like it's spiffy but i don't know I, I should look over here and see how it's going out over the air um i really i really love it but it looks it looks better than it looked. Yeah. Oh, it looks terrific. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I can make it a little less bright. Well, it's not bright. That's okay. It's fine. Anyway, uh, you know, it's that time of the week where we uh, have to do it because it's written in the contract somewhere, and I don't know where it's written in the contract or why it's written in the contract, but it says that... Uh, uh, it said, well, right here in, in the contract. Wait a minute. I, here, here's the contract. Uh, it says, uh, I've got to go talk to uh, Phil Meyer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boy, your well, face. I, I work cheap. Your face is orange tonight. Uh, it could be the light. Maybe I'm just sitting too close to, to it. Oh, now it's cleared up a little bit. Yeah. yeah now it's, it's nice. Uh, yeah. Do I look better than I normally look? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I was uh, I was noticing that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not as bright and blooming out and so on. It's some yeah. you know late in life you learn what you do to make the camera look better. Uh, makeup. 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 Uh. I haven't I haven't done that yet. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anything new? I, I, no. You know, so that's it for tonight. Thank you, Phil. All right. We got some bragging rights here. Nobody's ever heard of Walnut Creek. Yeah. Guess what? what? We have uh, a guy who's uh, uh, who lives here who yeah. just won the Nobel Prize in physics. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, supposedly in 1972, yeah. he had used duct tape and a few other things, and he had proven Einstein's theory wrong. Um, he, he came up with uh, uh, some uh, some other theories. He worked at Lawrence Livermore Lab. And it was a, it was Bob's it. theory of relativity, right? Bob's theory, Bob's of, relativity. Bob's theory of relativity. Yeah. But uh, you know, and with duct tape, he started. You know, uh, so anyway, this guy uh, Klauser uh, today mm -hmm. uh, from Walnut Creek won uh, the uh, Nobel Prize. Well, now you're no longer the brightest person in Walnut Creek. No, but somebody may want to steal his Nobel Prize before they steal my Rolex. I see. Okay, fine. I think that's worth yeah. a little bit more. It's amazing. I got a haircut today, so that's that's why yeah. I'm, that's why I'm not wearing the cap when I don't when I, oh, you're, yeah, you're I show, I, showing it off the. Uh, well, I don't need to wear a cap if if uh, my hair doesn't look <laughs> like Harpo, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah well, I, anyway. I get. You know, two or three hairs cut every six weeks. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. Well, you know, Marjorie always says your hair grows because she cuts my hair for me. Your hair yeah. grows so fast, and I go, "No, yours just grows really slow." You well, know. you know, I mean, uh, I, I went about I went about four or five weeks without a haircut. You know, well, and I should do it. You know, I can because I've got the stuff here. I should never cut it every week, and then I don't have to wear a stupid hat all the time. Well, that that would help, but yeah. you know the pandemic has really done a number to uh, to hair cutters and hairdressers. Mm -hmm. People are putting off their uh, purchases uh, a, a little bit more. The same with dry cleaning. You know, since the pandemic, people have been, you know been you know I I want to get like one of those foot massages. Mm -hmm. There's uh, places downtown you get a nice uh, it's called reflexology, mm -hmm. and it helps maybe with the neuropathy. But I don't want to be exposed to uh, someone that's exposed to so many people. You know, like every half hour, there's another customer in there, and they're up close and personal. Yeah, well, uh, you, you know, they watch. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they they wash the person's feet. You you, you know you don't you, know, you stick them in a bowl. You really don't want to. Yeah, but they're down there and, and you're up here, so it's not you know. You know. And you can wear a mask. You can wear a mask. Yeah. You know, you, you he's working on your toesies, not your nosies. <laughs> yeah, <that's> yeah. <laughs> <old joke there. laughs> so uh, well, let's see what else is going on. But anyway, no, I was yeah. going to say is. I went online to see if there was anything to help with my neuropathy because I got yeah. sick of taking this pregabalin. It was making me loopy. Tonight, I'm not as tired. Did I have a complaint about being tired yet? I'm not as uh, tired. No, but give it time. I've gone, well, I, I may still get tired, but I did, uh, t- gone two days now without the pregabalin, and my eyesight is clearing up a bit, and my I'm not as tired, and I'm not as woozy. You know, it's, it's so I think it has to do with the pregabalin. But anyway... Bring Hamilton. So yeah. uh, the Jerry, another Jerry Lewis drug. Um, but I, uh, I just, you know, I, uh, I, I stopped doing that, and uh, I'm feeling much better. Oh yeah. So I go online and I see if there are any exercises I can do to maybe help with the neuropathy. So mm-hmm. they say like take a strap, put it on your bottom of your foot, and then extend your foot straight, and then pull it up. You know. Uh, they have these uh, rubber straps. Yeah, that's what I have. That's what I know. I have them. I have one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they come in different colors for different resistance. Mm-hmm. And it's part of my warm-up routine at the gym. Yeah. Uh, I get on the floor. I, I do the calves. Uh, I, I, you know, I do four or five different positions with the trainer on both legs. And it's really helped uh, relieve the uh, tightness. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what it would do for the neuropathy unless you have something else that's causing it. Well, it, it helps with the neuropathy, supposedly. Oh. Uh, but I And I tried it today, and guess what? didn't help at all. But, you know, I, you got to do it. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. Oh, and then my doctor told me about, uh, for my, uh, for my uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, uh, positional, uh, yeah. uh, positional vertigo. Yeah. To go down to this place, which is the Eye and Ear Infirmary of Mount Sinai Hospital, and make an appointment and go to physical therapy because they have things you can do to help with that, to get these little grains back in your ear or something. I don't know. Yeah. So I've, I've put it off. I've put it off. I've put it off. It's been about two months. So finally, I, I call them, and the number isn't working. <laughs> well... Oh, just call the main number. And Marjorie and is always bu- bugging me. Call them today. Did you call them today? No, you didn't call them today, did you? No, that's why your you know your vertigo is still acting up. And I go, e- yeah, okay, I'll call them. And I call them, and the, the, the phone won't answer. And then a no. thing comes on saying uh, their mailbox is full and they're not accepting calls at this number. Right. Well, obviously it's a bad number now, but. You're you're semi-retired. You know you haven't haven't worked in a while. Uh, do you find that you have less time now that you're not working to do stuff than in the past? What do you mean less time to do stuff? Than yeah. In the well, past? you know, some many people say that once they retire, their day is is full and they don't have enough time to get the things done that they want to get done. Oh, I have lots of time. Yeah. yeah. On the days that I don't do a show, which is like, uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday. I, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm bored to death. There's nothing to do, you know. And what am I going to do? Am I going to go out? What am I going to do? I have no idea, you know. Yeah. Um, well, it's you can go do that physical therapy. I could do that. Yes, I could. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, uh, now, I know that you're very concerned about how many people listen to the show. And I just found out that Chris Cuomo has a new show on New Nation. Well, good. I'm and good. Gabnet, their numbers are ahead of Chris Cuomo. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not he's not being received all that well. Really? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I, I would and I think, think they, I, I, he's a pretty bright guy. I would think people would want to watch him. I think they're paying a million dollars a year. Are they really? Yeah. So I don't he's, know how he was much probably money. making more money over at CNN. You th- yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, you know, I don't. I find him kind of okay. You know, I don't find him as inter- as interesting as his brother. 
Yeah. Well, I wonder if they'll give his brother a show. Well, uh, I don't know. I, it doesn't look like a Andrew's doing much of anything right now. Yeah. It's, and it's not that he has to lay low because they dropped all charges against him and everything. They all turned out to be kind of empty. So yeah. he must have his retirement from the state, and, you know, he's living large. He's, he's probably living okay, you know, but, I mean, I think, you know, you get to a point where he went through what he went through, and you just turn around and you go, what do I need this crap for, you know? Yeah. I got enough money. I can live fine. Am I so in desirous of power that I can't do, you know, so yeah. hell with it, you know? So, well. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, talking about money, mm -hmm. uh, the state of California is going to send inflation relief in the form of $1,050 per person. I don't know how low you have to earn to get that, but... Uh, I don't think they're going to send it out to people who make millions and millions a year. Well, they sent it to people that weren't even really the, the real people when it came to the unemployment, and they sent it to convicts in prison. Well, look, in prison. It, you know what happens? Well, I mean, why shouldn't convicts in prison get it? Well, because they're not unemployed. But well, they were getting unemployment. Well, no, well, they're kind of unemployed. I mean, they can't, they can't work if they want to, unless, well, unless there's a, a nearby rock pile that's hiring. You know? Yeah, or the laundry or the license plate uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, bureau. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but a th oh. how much? A thousand what? A thousand fifty dollars. Oh, maybe I'll move to California then get my yeah. thousand fifty. I'm not sure I'll get. Well, if you move to California, you don't well, want to. Well, I screw still up your, pay taxes in California. I still have. I pay about I don't know fifteen bucks last year. Can you write off your storage unit because you're storing uh, stuff uh, for uh, yeah, the I show? Doubt, I doubt it. If we could, my business manager probably would do it. He yeah. might not have thought of it. No. What do you mean? He thinks of everything. <laughs> he thinks of everything. Oh, well, my storage unit. Had, it, uh, it, I, I uh, had a cold last week. Did you use Kleenex? Yeah. Did you use them on the air? Yeah. You can discount the you know the Kleenex. Yeah. The three Kleenexes. Yeah. But uh, I, I know that uh, you've been looking forward to the uh, space mission. Mm -hmm, uh, yes, I was thrilled today. I was thrilled today. Every time I see yeah. one of those things go up, I go, you know, reminds me of my penis. Mm -hmm. uh, and I no, I just I just watch it and I go, I'm just so in awe of it. You know, I mean, aren't well, you when you see that rocket go up? Absolutely. But it was the North Korean rocket that went up today. No, but so did the so NASA. NASA, yeah. Uh, well, actually, uh, not so much NASA as, uh, what do you call it, uh, Musk's organization. SpaceX. SpaceX, yeah. But they yeah. did, you know what they were doing? They What's were that? sending a crew to the space station. And there were four of them. You know, we mm -hmm. used to only send up three at a time, tops. Now we're sending up four, and we can actually put five in that capsule, okay? And they're going to be the crew that goes to the space station. One of them happens to be Japanese. Yeah. Uh, and the, uh, another one, a woman, happens to be Russian. We're, we're helping the Russians get people up to the space station. And by the way, yeah. they got rid of the old guy who was running the space station. And the new yeah. guy says, hey, I hate to say this, but we're not, we're not throwing you guys out of the space station. We're not closing it down. We're, we're there to stay. So don't worry about us going anywhere. So did they increase the rent? Yeah, they increased the <laughs> rent. Um, actually, I was I was talking to uh, Steve Kravitz today, and people will hear it in the interview I do with him. And I was talking about the space station, and it's what twenty years old, maybe older, twenty five. I think like older, that. yeah. Yeah, maybe it's going on thirty. That's not the it's the original space station, but they've well, added well, to it. Well, they had another space station originally called the Mir. Yeah, that was the Russian one. That one they had. Well, this one's more Russian too. Anyway, yeah. um, but this is the International Space Station, so we're, we're, we're running it with them, okay? But this thing's been up there, what, 20, 30 years, something like that. I would think you'd want to build a new one because if you think about how rank that place must be getting inside, I mean, come on. People have been pooping in there and they've been peeing in there and they've been burping and belching and doing everything that human beings do. They've been sweating. 
and and they, and, and, and ways to, to deal with that. I mean, what do they, what do they do? They get uh, air wick for air fresheners and hang them up all over the like in the in cars with the little Christmas tree. Do, do they still use tang? I, I think they don't necessarily have to use tang now. Yeah, I think there's a lot of other stuff, uh, but it's not you know it's not important. It's not you know. yeah. Uh, things that they can use. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so now this is the second rocket, I believe, or in, uh, missile that North Korea has sent over Japan. Uh, there were three of them sent this week. Three? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm, you know, that's because... Uh, well, all I, I'm saying mm-hmm. about to the, to the North Koreans is good for you. Just make sure those things don't accidentally fall short and drop on Japan. Otherwise, you're a former nation. You know, well, because you people, think the, you hmm? know, uh, uh, which um, Poland is asking uh, the U.S. Mm-hmm. to put nukes in Poland uh, because they're afraid of uh, what Russia is going to do. Do you think there's going to be a nuclear winter? Uh, but uh, no, but there might be a nuclear winter. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. You know, I mean, I think. Um, um, to begin with, the the, the nu- nuclear devices that he has, or as you call them, nuclear devices that he has, um, are low yield. They're small. They're not heavy yield. Now that's not necessarily that's not that's not good, but it's no. not as bad as a high yield. In other words, we think of atom bombs as this big mushroom cloud, like in Hiroshima, as for example. Mm-hmm. In fact, that's the only reference point we have that and the tests we've done. Uh, But the fact of the matter is that uh, it, uh, it, the ones they're thinking of using, he's thinking of using, are small, the low yield. Yeah, these these are the the ones he's thinking about using in Ukraine, but they have ICBMs and uh, other- Oh, oh, they have that kind of stuff. Yeah. But you know, it's interesting. I mean, and again, he's only threatening. You know, I think, I think he's very close to being thrown out of office. I mean, by force. I, I, I hope think so. I, I think there are people that just feel, you know, hey, hey we could had a fairly good economy going here, and you've screwed it up with this damn war in Ukraine. And what are we getting? We're not only not getting land, we're getting pushed back from the land we got. You know, uh, didn't he make a deal with uh, with the Saudis? Uh, on on uh, on oil, oil. And, yeah. On oil, the Saudis yeah. today said that they were going to uh, limit the amount of uh, by about two hundred thousand barrels a day or something of the oil that they they produce. And the Russians have said the same thing. But the fact is that number one, where do we get our oil from? Do we get it from the Saudis? Very small amount. Yeah, small amount. Small amount. Uh, yeah. We get most of ours, what, from Canada, I believe. Um, probably that and, and Britain, the, the, the uh, uh, what's that sea? Uh, the Brent, yeah. the Brent, British yeah. Brent. But, but, but the, the Saudis. Black Sea, yeah. Black Sea oil. The Saudis and the Russians do not provide us with the majority of our oil. A uh, small percentage. Yeah. So, you know. But uh, what the, uh, in, in the Middle East, the Iranians are actually supplying weapons to uh, drones and and other weapons to the Russians now. Where, where, where does the Iranians get this? I thought we were starving them out. They, you know, they, you know, they they were just wearing the same hajib every day. Well, you know, you also had Israel. You had Israel doing the same thing. Oh, poor us, poor us. We we're just a little nation, and how are we going to defend ourselves? Where do you think the Uzis come from? Well, that's just a no, short the, range. Well, pistol. No, but wait a minute. They also have a lot. They have a lot of they have ICBMs. They have everything. Okay, and Iran knows how to make this stuff. Uh, but Iran's got their own problems internally. I mean, the the women in that country are starting to rebel. It's it's kind of yeah. it's kind of slowed down a little bit because I guess the military took brought their guns out and started killing a few, and some people got a little shy. Several but, hundred, I think. Yeah, but it, it uh, you know, that they're having problems. Uh, I think uh, between Russia and Iran, those two countries, the, the leadership of those countries are kind of losing grip on their countries. 
Uh, I, I hope so, because what uh, what they did to uh, that woman who, I guess she wasn't wearing it the way she wasn't. She's... She wasn't wearing a head scarf. Uh-huh. And uh, the hair she had was kind of bushy and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, they, uh, they supposedly took her into custody. The mor morality police, okay? Uh, we have that in this country, but they're... Yeah, we do. Yeah, we it's do. It's on Facebook. <laughs> no, it's not on Facebook. The morality police have existed for a long time here, but not the same kind. They took her into uh, custody and then beat the crap out of her and killed her. What was the morality police that Biden wanted to institute, and uh, that went by the wayside? He didn't want a morality police. Uh, it was uh, no. Was it for fake news or no? Uh, no, 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 no. I think yeah. that what we want to do is we'd like to stop the dissemination of what we call fake news, uh, and uh, I don't know that we can do that by saying we're going to do it. You know. I, do you, I, I just don't know if that's possible. What? Now that Elon Musk is supposedly going to buy Twitter, I guess mm -hmm. he lost his lawsuit. Mm -hmm. and uh, no, he didn't he, no, he didn't losing. lose it. No, he didn't lose it. I think it just got to the point where it's just getting, it was getting more expensive to defend himself than that than it would be to pay the you know, $44 well, uh, billion. Dollars. From what I understand, that there was some posts that he had done, and I don't know where the posts were, and he deleted them, but somebody uh, copied them uh, on 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 their uh, device mm -hmm. and uh, gave it to the court. And I guess these posts were uh, were bad for his position, and so it was cheaper, I guess, for him to buy Twitter than it was to fight him. You know? Yeah, you know, he's a little stupid. Where where keeping his mouth shut is concerned, you know? Yeah. Um, and maybe that's kind of what I like about him, you know? He's, 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 a, he's a rabble rouser, you know? But Marjorie hates him. And I told Marjorie tonight, I said, you know, think of the two things that Elon Musk has given this planet, okay, that, yeah. that, will, help, two. that will help our future. Number yeah. one, is the electric car. If he hadn't started making electric cars, nobody else would be making electric cars well, now. Prius was uh, in business. Uh, no, Toyota they were doing, doing hybrids. Yeah. They were doing hybrids. They weren't doing pure electrics and showing yeah. that pure electrics could work and they could be powerful and they could be a good looking enough car and the all around people would be desirous of buying them. And he created that which may save the planet when it comes to the future with, with you know, oil and so on. The next thing is the space uh -huh. program. This right. thing, stuff he's doing in space. I mean, I saw this thing today and I said, you know, this is basically one man's vision, yeah. you know, and, and he pulled it off and it looks great. You know, it was wonderful. Uh, well, to a smaller degree, he has the communication Starlink network, and he's also mm -hmm. got that boring company. Which, by the uh, way, he has, he has specifically launched them over Ukraine, so they have satellite coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, there there are some things this guy is doing that's very good. I, uh, there's a, several other billionaires out there uh, that have his kind of money, and I don't see Jeff Bezos, for instance doing the kind of uh, uh, innovation. I mean, he's doing innovation in, Jeff, in the retail Jeff Bezos world. is good at running a Sears catalog, basically. Yeah. You know? Uh, I mean, his rocket thing, I mean, it's just what he's doing with it, if he's doing anything. He's really not doing anything with it. Uh, I mean, let's face it, Be uh, uh, Musk is doing functional things with his space program. He's sending yeah. people to the space station. He's planning to go to the moon with these damn things. I mean, he's... he's Mars. Mars. And Mars, eventually. Uh, he wears a T-shirt all the time. It says, populate Mars. Uh, <laughs> and, but anyway, uh, he, he uh, uh, you know, he really has has worked his tail off to get that, that, that dream that he has of going into space made it a reality far more than nasa has in the last 30 40 years i mean since we went to the moon for the last time we haven't done anything except you know i i called it nasa hauling and shipping you know we go up there to lob some satellites into orbit for people that was well it. that's that's where the money is 
Uh, that's where the money is, but the money eventually is going to be on, on the moon the, because there are a lot of minerals and stuff there that we don't have here on Earth. Are we allowed to uh, to take anything from the moon? I yes, thought, absolutely. Uh, we're, we're able uh, to mine on the moon, sure. Oh, sure. But there cool. are we have found minerals and so on on the moon that don't exist here that can be put to pretty good use, you know. Mm. And... Uh, you know, I mean, he. Uh, I uh, understand uh, there's kryptonite on the moon. Yes, there's kryptonite. Yeah. So if Superman ever comes around, we can weaken him a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We'll show Superman. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, you know, everybody's talking about uh, the electric cars and how it's going to help the atmosphere and 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 uh, global warming. Uh, you know, I was reading an interesting article that said there's a, a La Nina right now and what the la nina does for like a one to three year well, cycle that's when the tides are lower than usual oh, aren't it, they it, oh no that's <laughs> no it, it starts cooling a uh, cooling phase mm -hmm. and uh, supposedly what will happen is it changes the global weather where the poles get a lot colder and uh, areas in the south get a lot warmer and i would think that that could be some of the reasons that uh, with changes in the jet stream, which are uh, experienced through these La Ninas, that uh, that's are, are, why are, are, are you, getting the are kind you, of are you, are you hurricanes. Look, are you looking at me, Phil? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. You you you're worried about global temperatures uh, rising, but they're actually not. Oh no. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Really? Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm, before you go any further, I got I got it from Noah. I am yeah. I am bringing in I'm bringing in our good friend, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Wallace. Uh, Mr. Wallace, because Mr. Hey. Wallace, there he is. Uh, tell, tell them about global warming, please. Oh, Charlie, oh, one thing before you tell wait, me. Wait you can't fight Mother Nature. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> Our friend Mr. Wallace here yes. is a physicist. Am I right? I was trained that way. Yeah. You, you have a piece of paper. That, wait a minute. Hold on a second. You, you're, you, know, you have a piece of paper that says you're a physicist. Will you tell yeah. him where he's full of crap? <laughs> Yeah, he's full of crap. I mean, you, you can't. The El Nino has nothing to do with the poles being warmer or colder or whatever. That's... Have you read the article today from Noah? Uh, no, I haven't seen any article that what you're talking about. No. Oh, okay. What's, well, that, that's where I got what's, it. What's Noah? National Oceanographic. Uh, what's the AA stand for, Charlie? I don't know. Mm. Oceanographic and something administered. Yeah. And atmospheric, I guess, administered. Yeah. Well, any, anyway, that, that's where that article comes from. Uh, yeah, like well, I, it, let me put it this way. You might be, you could be right in what you saw, Phil, but chances are you aren't because everything you read seems to get interpreted through this little sieve you call a brain and uh, then reinterpreted and comes out completely different than the article was meant to be. Uh, it's called reality. Hey, do you see my background? I went by that house about 9 a.m. this morning. I was driving to a to a job, mm -hmm. and I see I see all these signs. Uh, the whole front yard was was covered with uh, uh, "Don't blame me. I voted for Trump. Trump won. Get over it." Things like that. Uh, I, I can't believe that the guy he had a yard totally full of those signs did you see is, did, you, is, is, did you see DeSantis and and our president uh kissing yeah. ass with each other did you hear uh, the president on that hot mic moment uh where he said uh uh when was uh, this no today no one fucks with a biden and it was a hot mic uh, moment today. Well, what's what, wrong with that? Nothing, nothing wrong like, with that. No, 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 hey, you know, every mic is a live mic. You told me that. And uh, so anyway, this Charlie. It's, wants better, to it's, it. be, it's better than Trump saying everybody fucks me. <laughs> or he fucks everybody. But uh, I, I it's it's now uh, four minutes past the hour. Mm -hmm. And I promised Alex. That I'd hang out, but I would not uh, monopolize. And last week, uh, one of my haters actually wrote something and said, oh, Phil gave uh, ch uh, many of this panel 
uh, more time and, and, and so forth. So I'm going to do the same thing to make my hater love me because that's the kind of guy because I am. Because you want to be loved. Oh, yeah. Because you're, you're, wants to you're be planning loved. on running. Except for, Alan. Are you pl you know. You're planning on running for president, right? Well, you know, if hey, if Kamala Harris can do it, I, I can do it. Hey, everybody, does my picture look better tonight? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah I, I did a little tweaking. A little tweaking. Removed a few gray hairs? or No, yeah, no, no. A little more energetic, too. I'm, I am feeling head. more energetic, and the reason is I stopped taking those pills for two days. Uh -huh. I want to see if it affects change, and apparently it's connecting, it's affecting change. So when you get a haircut, do you say to Marjorie, give me the Uncle Fester? <laughs> No, I, I, I sure wouldn't be talking if I were you. I said, give me the how Phil will look in 10 years. Yeah. I, I'd be happy to be alive in 10 years. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Alex can comb his Maybe. hair with a wash rag. Who else can say that? Come on. Well, you know, I mean, I, I just, I like it short like this. You know, I mean, I, I would be happy to wear no cap all the time, but that means I have to get a haircut every week. Okay. Yeah. And I, yeah, I hate getting haircuts. I hate sitting there one. And she does a good job of it. Look. Right. Yeah. Now, do you give her the 15 bucks you used to pay? No, 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 not at all. You're so you don't even tip her. You know what? I just found out, by the way, let me let me tell you this story. I've been trying to look for ways to save money, mainly because we're on a we're on a fixed budget now. You know, we're on a what do they call it? A fixed income. And uh, I, I suddenly been realizing that. You know, I went and I got my Fios, and when I first signed on for it, I got it for $225 a month, which was about, oh, I know, $75 cheaper than I was paying for uh, my uh, Spectrum, okay? So I decided to do it. Well, as time has gone on, it got up to a place where it was about $275, Back at it. So first of all, I realized that I started looking at my, my bill. And the first thing I noticed was that uh, I was, uh, was paying too much for a phone that I never used, which is the phone they give you. Mm -hmm. And I had to take it with the original plan and I was going to another plan. <clears throat> so I said, get rid of the phone. Boom, right there, 25 bucks, okay? But then I realized they weren't giving me HBO Max under my new deal, oh. so I had to pay for HBO Max. Boom, it's only a $5 difference or something like that, or a, a, no, a $10 difference. All right, so now I'm, I'm looking at everything, and I go to my AT&T bill, and they say, oh, by the way, uh, just go on to uh, HBO Max, put in your uh, AT&T uh, you know, account, and you get it for free. So now I'm down to $249. dollars does two forty nine include your internet? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not so bad. No, it's a, it's a, that's a hundred dollars. That's a hundred a month for you know. Yeah. For one. Gig. So you're really only one hundred and forty bucks. And I like and you... the fast internet because when I do work here, I can upload and download really fast. Okay, but anyway, so the next thing was I looked and I said, well, you know, we don't really need stars. Oh, then I went to I went to Paramount Plus that I have, and it said for another four dollars a month. You can get Showtime. Well, I'm already paying ten bucks a month for Showtime, so if I go and I get rid of one of my plans, which also includes Stars and Epics, and we never watch Stars and we hardly ever watch Epics, okay? There's another twenty dollars I can look, I can spend less on. Then I looked at another plan they had, and if I just want to tell them about five different channels I want, they'll create a package for me. Okay, which will include like uh, Turner Classic Movies and so on, that almost gets rid of most of my channels, which I don't need. Okay, and it's like 50 bucks less. So I maybe can bring myself down to under $200 a month for my cable bill. I'm delighted. Uh, have you ever looked at uh, Google TV? No, no, forget that. I'm, I've been looking at that and those things. No. I've been using it. I'm happy with it, but I don't know if it's got the There's channel. better. There's better. YouTube TV is better. 
and Hulu. That's what I have. Uh, Google, you, YouTube TV is Google, yeah, right? Yeah, that's Google. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, and then there's, uh, there's uh, uh, Hulu, uh, which if I do Hulu, uh, I get my Disney and H Hulu and ESPN Plus tacked on for free. Okay? So, I mean, all of these things coming together, I'm, I'm starting to really cut down on my cable bill, you know? And uh, I've been paying too much for it all along because I've kept saying, who needs lifetime? You know, why don't they make you take that? No, they, they do. no, they want you to take it. But uh -huh. I, 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 under FiOS, they allow you not to take it if you don't want it. See? But when I had cable, I had to have. Do you know lifetime. that on your cable bill every month, the money that they pay to lifetime? Is ten dollars a month? A lifetime? Yes. Lifetime. Yeah. Lifeline. Huh? Lifeline. Oh, lifeline, not no. life. What do you mean lifeline? No, it's lifetime. Lifetime. Oh, yeah, that's one of those cheesy holiday movies. Right? I don't know. I just pay the damn bill. Well, yeah. it, that is the most expensive, and I have no yep. idea why. Because who the hell? Did, how many here have ever watched? Well, obviously, Alan hasn't watched Lifetime. No, no, he cries you know. uh, during the Hallmark movie. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't want the Hallmark Channel. I don't want. I there are so many channels I don't want. I, you know, I'd be very happy. They give you all the local channels. They have to do that by law, and then they give you a whole other package. And those five stations that you said you wanted, and I put in MSNBC, and uh, because Marjorie likes that, and I want Ter Turner Classic Movies so I can get it uh, on the app and a few others. And then they, they make up another uh, kind of a package that includes stuff like that. So I'm, I'm just thinking of going to that. I'm gonna have Marjorie look at it tomorrow and say, you know, I don't care if every channel I go to is empty. You know, I really don't because these things are ridiculous. But you know, they still have to give me channel 13 and crap like that, so what the hell? Mm -hmm. Why don't you get an antenna? You know, uh, I, I bought one of those antennas because uh, there was a one week period that I didn't have any. Yeah, but these channels I want aren't on. I'm just trying to see what I can pick up. Yeah. You know, are, yeah. I, I, there's there's these flat antennas that receive signal <clears throat> up to like 30 or 50 miles. Hey, if and I'm, you put, I, them, yeah. put them on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really care to go back to that. You know, I really don't. I like the cable. It's a clearer picture than you're ever going to get with one of those antennas. I like the days when you didn't have a remote. You got up and you turned the channel. Yeah, well, well, you kicked the TV and the picture was coming in. Yeah, and, and, you, and you remember the rabbit ears. And you, oh, yeah. And yeah. everybody mistakenly put tinfoil on the rabbit ears thinking that would make them get better reception. I, oh, that yeah. I don't think so. No. We Most of your listeners put tin foil on their head. <laughs> and you're they the, were copying you're, Trump. You're one that you're one to speak, Phil. Yeah, really. Yeah. The new TV yeah. set. My father looked at me like I have four heads. <laughs> Dad, this thing, get up and hit it again. I used to hit the side thing. <laughs> I remember UHF. those days, Tony. Oh, UHF guess, was guess. always so foreign. Yeah. You know, it was like ooh, it was like almost illegal getting UHF channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, guess who's here? He was sick for a couple of days, and that's why we didn't yeah. see him. Well, he's almost here. Uh, uh, Brian Neary is uh, is almost here. Brian. Yeah, I you know. I, I, don't ask what's going on here. Oh, Ooh. okay. I the don't. wife has worked. Stop monopolizing, Phil. The the wife <laughs> has worked. The wife has worked at home for the last two days and she moved her work stuff in and my stuff is everywhere really hmm. well we can oh. we can hear you uh but yeah, I, I, I know i have my camera and i gotta get the cord for my camera that she moved out of the way you, you, <laughs> you know how you have a thing called uh senior moment right <laughs> uh what you're having is a jack bishop moment just no. take the tape off no. take the tape off the lens okay. no no <laughs> No, no, there's a cord going back. It's, so, okay, so if Marjorie came and started setting up her computer mm -hmm. in your workstation area, Alex, mm -hmm. I'd you'd be down for a month. I'd kill, <laughs> I'd kill her. 
No, you no way. When you first signed on, you had a purple picture, which you usually have when you have a cap over the uh, over the uh, camera. No, 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 no. It's just because I I plug that into the USB, like when I go on the show. Well, because I have too many of my ports and my docking station already plugged up. And now she moved this thing off, and it's, oh. I got to go underneath the table. Oh. Go underneath the table, and yell to us yeah. from underneath the table. Let's hear you from underneath right. the table. Oh my God! <gasps> what the hell? How about if you do it? Uh, oh, just go all, in your all, car. All you got to do is you got to put your uh, just uh, your camera into any USB port. Yes, I know, but I got to get the USB port because it, it, it's it. gone to the back of the. And I had it so nicely threaded through the stand. Listen, we have we have a lot of people listening to us right now, and this should get the numbers up really good. Yeah, yeah. So any difficulty is good. Any difficulty. Uh, <sighs> do you have uh, Phil, COVID Phil now? Constipated. What? Okay, screw it. I'll plug it in now. But you know, I had it nicely wound in the back through the stand in the back. So I don't get back. yelled at by by Jack Bishop. Uh, you're having a Jeff moment. Yeah. God, I'm all sweaty now. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Oh, no. Okay. So, so her Ooh. laptop is over <laughs> here. Her laptop <laughs> is here. Uh -huh. She moved all this stuff. She's put another screen here now. Mm -hmm. And wow. Oh, oh my God. The that? talking station is over there. She put my headphones over She's here. She's sick. <laughs> She's had to be working. Well, in, I'd, 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 say I'd say divorce her. That's what I say. <laughs> Do you get two desks in that room? Don't start with that. <laughs> because if you guys remember, if you guys go onto the old shows, you'll see a white desk that was back there for yeah. like six mm -hmm. months. That was her office space. Ooh. And nothing happened to it. So I yanked it and I put it down the garage. Now, guess what? Now she wants it back. Mm. So do what many of our... Uh, All her do. notes from worker here she has all this red stuff i don't know what this red <laughs> like her nail polish or something she's chipping off onto my desk <laughs> gee I, I probably yeah. i'm so happy I'm her so happy. food is here and hold on and i hope she isn't hearing this she perhaps <laughs> not mine i can't believe this really I need to talk to a lawyer. My wife would never do that. <laughs> Did you use that baseball player, a, a Bunchin, and a, and her husband that uh, oh, they're talking to lawyer? Yeah. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Oh, he's football. Giselle. Wait, well, yeah, better yet, you're having a Herschel Walker moment. <laughs> oh, no, don't say that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been sending Phil some uh, – Herschel Walker quotes, just in case he finds one that he approves, and he hasn't replied yet. Oh, no, I did reply. You said you like Herschel Walker, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you know, no, no, nobody, nobody stop him. If he wants to be a complete moron, let him. Okay? Uh, um, the guy who, the, the most amazing thing is that whole thing that's happening with his uh, with his stand on, ra on um, uh, abortion. Yeah. Uh, uh, no abortions after 15 weeks, uh, uh, even in the for the health of the mother or if the child is going to be born, you know, with five arms. No, I mean 15 weeks. He wants no abortions. No, he. I think he. I think he did say 15 weeks. I think he did say. But anyway, and then it turns out, a woman comes forward and says, "Oh yeah, he paid for my abortion." There, there was a and card. Then, there, there's a card, yes, a good yeah. well card a, a that good, he signed. With his, the, with the, definitely with, his signature. And with well, the, with these, hey, wait a minute, hold on a second. With the seven hundred dollar check in it. Yeah. 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 And she has oh, the cancer. There is the big. There's the guilty. Hey, you know, hi, hi, honey. The 70s. Damn guilty hi, honey. You look so beautiful tonight. <laughs> and then the other look who's women. Here. Well, <laughs> she's beating you up now. Well, she does look beautiful. Were, right? were yeah, you, he uh, loves your workstation. Yeah, <laughs> I love what you did with my with our workstation. Yeah. <laughs> you silver gonna, tongue devil. I'm I'm gonna move your table back. Exactly. Yes, I will move your table oh, back. Oh, did you wait a minute? Hold on a second. I want to do a little a little family therapy here. 
did you did you did you move all your stuff where you moved it because he got rid of your desk? <laughs> no. Do you want to see what she looks like? No, I don't really care about that. <laughs> no, she doesn't care about yeah. that because it was all nice. Okay. Yeah. Dishes. All this red stuff. Hey, what's her, all this red uh, stuff? Her nails. Her nails. See, she's been chipping her nails on my. <laughs> She's saving you money not going to the nail parlor. Yep. Oh, yeah, right. Tiffany, for shame. For shame. Mm. You want to make okay. money? Oh, no, you're not. Oh, this is my note for my thing. Yeah, your notes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Gee, Bogus. I think she's going to take over your <laughs> position. Is that what she called you? Cabinet pretty soon. No, she says, no, she says cheeseburger. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye. 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 I'm talking with my friends. What's yeah. it? What is it? Do you have any room in your garage? <laughs> bye bye. Hey, close the door. Hey, Brian, okay. can you back, uh, can you push the Herschel. car over and you know get a little room in the garage to set up? Back to Herschel Walker, your you friend. Know, I got I got I got to say this, that I know why you are the way you are, because it's very easy to be pussy whipped by a very good looking yeah, woman. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, there's a I lot. I put my foot down tonight. Yeah, right. We, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. With a woman like that, you put your foot down. Yeah. Are, are yeah. you her boss? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, at 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 work, you're not her no. boss. No, 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 no. Different division. Different. Yeah, she's in quality. I'm in manufacturing, and yeah, totally different. Oh, oh so she's your company. boss. I didn't know that. Well, she she works at your company. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. At the company I work with. Yeah. Oh. I work for. Yeah. Quality control. If you screw up on anything, she'll be over I, there. I, I never screw up on anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm totally doing something totally different now with all the expansion projects. So I don't I don't report to anybody. So. Yeah. All HR. This guy's a rogue. On, <laughs> on me. Do you know we have a we have a lot of people listening right now. Oh, really? Just keep doing whatever we're doing. I don't. Know. Are they waiting for you to yell at me? No, Herschel Walker. Herschel yeah. Walker. Oh, I, I wrote back to you, Brian. I wrote oh. propaganda. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 it's propaganda. And then you sent me something uh, about. Listen, Sandy. listen. Have you heard him talk? Yeah. He's he, from the South. That's the way they talk. No, he's stupid. He's <laughs> stupid. Stupid. He, he's a brilliant guy. Believe me, he, I, the I, accomplishments I, that he's had in his lifetime. What do you mean we, going going for uh, going this much? Going forty-five yards down a uh, field? I don't think that's an accomplishment it in takes life. Takes a lot of uh, perseverance to uh, to be an Doesn't athlete. Doesn't take any brains. Well, yeah. and these you know, are all he has all the qualities. He's, he, what's he running for, senator? He has all the qualities yeah. it takes to be a senator. Yeah, he supports Trump. That that's the only quality he needs. You know, he's going to be the last person in America defending Trump. Nah, yep. I'm still here. <laughs> I, I can't believe you still think Trump's a good idea. Although I like DeSantis. He does like DeSantis. He yeah, well, himself. you see him kiss B uh, Biden's ass today. Yeah, uh, and of course Biden says nobody fucks with a Biden, that, and so, that yeah. what's wrong with that? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Uh, you, you, know, is, you also said that he grew up with the Puerto Ricans. Oh, I heard that. Is that true? I mean, you know, no. the the, the fact right check thing. was when he was living in Maryland with his parents, there were two thousand people from Puerto Rico in that state. Well, well, that's, well that, that's living with the Puerto Ricans. Did you hear his explanation for that? Uh, the same one he gave for, um, I go to temple and the shul more than the Jews. Oh, come on. He said that? He's yeah, like, yeah. And, you know, the I, guy, the guy can't Junior. tell the truth. Uh, Listen. You know, he can't Harry, tell the truth. Uh, I have to agree with him. Because if he just goes for political purposes, so he's seen inside a synagogue, he's been mm. to a synagogue more in the last 20 years than I have. Well, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Phil and I have been there more. Probably Charlie's been there more. <laughs> yeah. But I'm armed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I, I went on the internet. Mm -hmm. You went to because what? Because my son is vice president of this miniature shul. What, what is it? Uh, wait a minute. Is this a, a internet shul? Well, they, they Zoomed everybody. They Zoomed Not everybody. everybody. 
Some people showed up, some people internet. Yeah. Did they all do the cottage together on Zoom? Oh, yeah. yeah you get 13 of us. We, we'll, we'll sit down and do it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't hurt. Yeah. Or 10. What do we need? 10? Uh, to, well, to do the cottage? Uh, no, 13, I think, is a minion. 13? It's a minion. Yeah. Uh, by the uh, way, kids in, case, there... kids, in case you're tuning in, a minion before it was a little troll. Uh, character in cartoons was in fact thirteen Jews. Okay, now it now it's been now it's ten Jews. Is no it ten idea. Jews? Is it ten Jews? Ten. Okay, ten. Yeah, that's what a bad Jew I am. That's why I still get my business cards from Live One Hundred and Five in San Francisco. Alex Ben, a bad Jew. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I, um, you know, I mean, uh, bad Jew, no bacon. So I you, used that. I used that yesterday. Uh, they asked me if I could be at the Chabad for Kol Nidre to perform security Kol or Nidra. safety. Kol Nidra. Yeah. And I said, no, no, I can. I, I've got a, a, another uh, another thing to do uh, with the DA's office. And uh, so I said, I'm a bad Jew. <laughs> Kol Nidre, a rapper. Who? Cole Nijay. Uh Yeah, no, I don't think so. I, I think it's the, uh, the night before uh, Yom Kippur. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now with uh, uh, with uh, with uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Dallas. What's uh, Rosh Hashanah? What what are we celebrating? Now? Uh, Yom Kippur today. Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah last week. Yom Kippur is today, so that's when we do the Kol Nidra. Uh, yeah. That's last yeah, night. Yeah, the night before. That, the night before. Yeah. But all day today, we were supposed to fast, what, from yeah. last night all through today? Yes. Right. Well, I blew that one again this year. <laughs> that's okay. I don't celebrate it either because that would cut into my diet. <laughs> well, now that I'm doing internet, intermittent fasting, uh, I fasted from uh, 6 p.m. last night to 1130 this afternoon. That doesn't count. <laughs> You've got, to, you've, got, you've got to do it. You've got to do it. On Yom Kippur, you've got to. Yom Sunday. Kippur. I had a dog once who we got on Yom Kippur, <laughs> and we named him Kipper. And, like the fish? And, and people, people would get really, Jew, other Jews would get very upset with that. And then this is our dog, Kipper. <laughs> and, and we spelled it K-I-P-P-U-R, okay? Oh, Kipper. Uh -oh. Kipper. Yeah, because there's kippers and sour cream. Stupidest dog I ever owned. Do you have a yarmulke? Uh, no. <laughs> he, he was the stupidest dog I we ever owned uh, when we when I had dogs. I only had dogs when I lived in Marin because that was a good place to have dogs, right? Yeah. And sure. and um, uh, he uh, one day I'm passing by. He we let him roam around. You know, in those days your dogs ran free in the neighborhood. Okay, and they would come home for dinner because they knew where the food was, and that's why they'd come home, right? Uh, but he was, I saw him down the street with a bunch of other dogs, and they're all lined up in front of a tree. And one at a time, they're going over to the tree, lifting their leg and peeing on the tree, right? Next one goes along, lifts his leg, pees on the tree. Kipper walks over to the tree and squats and pees. <laughs> that's how stupid kipper was he couldn't see what the other dogs were doing he had to like squat and pee was he a republican oh, maybe you didn't realize it's really a girl dog no it wasn't it wasn't no <laughs> and but he was i i loved kipper he was he was sweet you know he got it yeah. got an ass full of buckshot once because some oh. some neighbor Ow. didn't like to have dogs coming on his property but kipper mm. never did that again you could uh, you could return fire and shoot the person in their hand. Really? What? Or knee? Or knee? Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, that was Kipper. He was a, a sweet animal, and uh, I will miss him. Well, not okay. really. It's been fifty years since he was wow. alive. But isn't it amazing the way dogs come into our lives, and you know how much they mean to us? Well, pets in general. I mean, yeah. you know. I mean, the reason I'm not getting a cat now is because who knows how long I'm going to live. And I don't want that animal looking at me every day going, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be here long after you're gone. You know, so 
And mm. also, I don't want to, we have windows here. And Marjorie likes to keep the windows open. And I'm not about ready to have a window open with a cat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know. Uh, there's an old story. There's an old story that I can't remember who told. Oh, yeah, it was a story that, um, uh, what's his name, who did in Cold Blood, uh, uh, the writer. Truman, uh, Truman Capote. Capote was told on, I think maybe it was the Carson show or one of the Tonight shows. Mm. And he was talking about how he went out, you know, he was dating, decided to date this woman, and he made a date with her, and she said, well, come by my apartment and pick me up. And he said, I went over to her apartment, and uh, mm -hmm. she says, listen, I've uh, still got to get dressed and everything. Just stay out here, and by the way, if you want to, you can play with my dog and whatever, you know, because the little, little puppy. Mm -hmm. oh. So uh, he's sitting there, and all of a sudden, the puppy comes along and, and drops a ball at his feet, which, of course, is dog speak for throw the ball, I will <laughs> chase it, and I will bring it back to you. So he takes the ball, and he throws it, and it goes, bounces it off the wall, comes back, the dog catches it, right, in midair, comes over, drops it at his feet throws it again it bounces everywhere and then it lands and the dog grabs the ball and comes over to Truman Capote and drops it at his feet he then takes the ball throws it again it bounces and goes out the window and the dog goes with it oh no <laughs> and I don't know who it was Jack Parr probably who asked him what did you do he said well she came out he put her overcoat on and we left, and we went out to dinner. He said, did you ever bring it up to her? He says, yes, towards the end of dinner. I said to her, have you noticed your dog feeling visibly depressed lately? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Truman Capote was gay. Well, I think he was, <laughs> but, on a date. but this was a great story. Why, because he was a Republican? I don't think he was. No, he wasn't. He it wasn't? Why is it everybody you want to dislike, Alan, has to be a Republican? You know, I know some good Republic. No, I don't, actually. Oh, you don't. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, boy. I wish I did know some good Republicans. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're good Republicans. I'm sure that there are some that have a good moral conscience and find things like Trump trying to, you know, pat women on their pussies is immoral and wrong. And, uh, you know, in bad taste yeah. and find Herschel Walker's life in which he had four children, none of which he ever went and visited. Yep. Didn't Jealous. visit any of them. Well, maybe he didn't like them. You know, <laughs> Phil, why don't you just say, hey, you know, this sounds like a real sleaze bag to me. Look, 20, uh, 30 years ago, almost 30 years ago, uh, I had uh, my wife had a pregnancy and it was mine. Uh, and, and uh, are you sure uh, of that? Well, yeah, she looks because like if I were your wife, I'd be looking for other places to get my pleasure. I understand. You know. So, uh, you know, we already had one child and we hadn't planned on a second one. And so she went to the abortion clinic and uh, there was a protest and she didn't want to get involved in the protest. She says, well, I'll go tomorrow. So she came back and we said to each other, well, why don't we have her? And it's changed my opinion of abortion because now there's a beautiful life that Yeah, but is you made that decision. And production but but and you, made, you made that decision, and you have the right to make that decision. No, but just what about like everybody right else. Live? Believe me, there are some women who have already have four kids. They don't want a fifth. Or they have three, well, and they don't want a fourth. <laughs> Wait, let me finish. And yeah. they're making a decision for themselves. How dare you tell them what to do with their bodies? Well, you know, and God you knows know, you probably tried to tell pregnant. a lot of women what to do with their bodies. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, women get pregnant. And if uh, Gee, they, really, really, yeah, Phil, really? Yeah, they and the men aren't, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, doing enough to protect uh, the sex, then, you know, they, they've got what they've got. And these are and, the consequences of your actions. You ever heard the same? Phil, uh, Phil yeah. women are also getting raped. I, th this I understand. And, and there, is, there, is, there are provisions for that. And there are women that are going to Phil, want Phil, an are, are, Phil, are, 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 you Ju are you Jewish? Yeah. Do you believe in the Jewish religion? No. No, but I mean, do you be Oh, okay. Because according to the Jewish religion, 
abortion is fine because as long as the body is still in the, if the baby is still in the mother's body, she can do anything with it she wishes to. I understand. I like some of the tradition. That's uh, a tradition. Like we heritage. do it on Yom Kippur. You're allowed to to <laughs> sing the Kaddish for kids who've been aborted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, when it comes to Judaism, uh, I you know I support Israel and uh, uh, you know, but I'm I'm not religious. <clears throat> But you're buddy or observant. Jewish. Well, as a very observant Jew, I believe in uh, in abortion. Well, the interesting if thing you believe that you'll believe Rosh anything. What on on Rosh Hashanah, I was doing my safety deal at the Chabad, and I'm at the front door and I'm listening to the story that the rabbi is telling, mm -hmm. and he's talking about Korach, uh, who was a rebel. And uh, he and he, and he started reciting some of that Torah portion. Mm -hmm. So I looked at him a afterwards, and I said, "That was my Torah portion." And I repeated it word for word. You know, I said, "He says fifty-seven." Years, I said, fifty-seven years ago, I said those words." And uh, so it was. Um, it was the last time you spoke Hebrew. Yeah, it's yeah, funny. Really. It's funny, Phil. But when I was. Uh, Eight years old, my parents sent me to tap dancing class, and I mm -hmm. learned to do a waltz clog, which is the major, the basic uh, tap dance step, and I can still do it to this day. So the wow. fact that you can still recite that ain't no big deal, okay? <laughs> no, I didn't say it was a big deal. It was just a coincidence that on Rosh Hashanah, that was what he was talking about, and that was my Torah portion uh, for my bar mitzvah. Mm. Bill, your fan is going to be very disappointed tonight because you said you weren't going to monopolize the conversation. Well, <laughs> yeah, but hey, I'm letting you talk. Well, that's that. That's uh, Bri oh, that's, thank you. that's Brian's very nice way of saying shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like the way Brian said "fan" singular. Well, yeah. this guy isn't a fan, uh, and when you look at his Facebook page, the only thing he has is happy birthday wishes from his sister and his mother. So you know. Uh, oh my God! No. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me. By the way, if anybody wants to uh, write uh, uh, nasty things about Phil on our uh, on our uh, YouTube page, go right ahead, and I will uh, make copies of them and pass them along to him. We'll yeah. read them on the air. Yeah. Then you should post them. Post them now. Yes, post them. Oh. Anyway. We're taking your posts. Um, so uh, anyway, we're going to your rabbi. Maybe he'll. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. so let's get oh. Tony. Let's oh. see a little more of your let's head. Do. Let's see a little more of your head. Since Jeff is completely in frame, why don't you get your yourself a little more in frame? Yeah, lower the camera. Jeff, are, you, are you home? Uh, you, uh, uh, no, no. Tony? In the doctor's Wait office, they have the Tony. same wall. Paper. Yeah, there we go. I got your surface. It's just a little. Yeah, a little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. Yeah. Uh, wait, yeah, a little more, a little more. No, that was lowering it. You lowered oh, it. No, there, there you go. Oh, that looks hey. good. Oh, that's fine. See, now everybody looks <laughs> great. Everybody yeah, look, smile. Yeah. Let me take a picture yeah. of you. Uh, that was scary. Tony, yeah. just move the thing. Turn off the screen. <laughs> You're monopolizing again. Anyway, anyway, uh, Tony. Yeah. What's happening with your prostate situation? See, this is this is why nobody. Li we have thirty nine <laughs> people right now. Watch it go to f ten, right? I had to do an MRI last week. Yeah. I was a little claustrophobic, but then I did it. They made me listen to music in there too. Why so am I an MRI? I didn't have to have an MRI. Because you know what? When they did the uh, when they do the he put the biomarkers in me. They use that. He says he wants to use that to exactly see when they map me out. Well, they did, they could do that with the with the with the what do you call it? The uh, no, the CT scan doesn't do as good a job. What do you mean? Prostate. That's that's all they used on me. Absolutely. Well, but they didn't have MRIs then. This no, they did. Anyway, the, no, the CT scan. They did the CT scan with me on everything, you know, including including when they did the radiation treatment. They use a CT scan to see where everything is and where it's going. Yeah, so there's, no, there's no MRI being used. 10, 15 minutes. But now I, I have I, to. Go I back. would never. I would never do an MRI. They'd have to give me a CT scan. You know. Right. You know. At first, I was. They said, "Okay, you got to." You know. And I looked at it, right? So I said, "Okay, listen. Can I put my music on?" So I just closed my eyes because when she put me in, there's no room. I felt like Houdini. I said, "Take me out first. 
because I had my eyes open because you can look right up. I said, okay, I got to relax. I put my music on. I put on like light music and I closed my eyes and then she put me in and I had the headset on so she can talk to me. So then I just never opened my eyes. I just kind of like relaxed and went to sleep. Like. So far as imaging the prostate is concerned, I know that they can image the prostate because when they when I went into the emergency room and they did the full scan of my body by uh, CT scan, there's a notation in there about they could see my prostate and they could see the seeds that have been implanted would, in the prostate. So they get a very good picture of the prostate. But what the, what, the, what the CT scanner misses is where the cancer is. Well, no, but that's, uh, that's, that was already figured out by the biopsy. Yeah. The machine they used on me? Yes, it was already uh, figured out by the biopsy. If you look at it, it tells exactly where the, the uh, cancer is. Yeah. But Alex, the machine they used on me, I'm laying on a table and uh, I, I, it was some sort of thing that whirred around and, and put radiation, yeah, uh, but I didn't have to be all the way in the machine because it just had to get to my prostate area. Right. Well, I just laid on this like thing. I laid, I laid on this thing, around. this thing, oh, and this thing would come around. And what they did for a while is they were just testing it to make sure they were getting it set so it was going to go in the exact right place. Okay, and then it would go around again, and then it would. What they were th when it made a complete pass, they were through, and yeah. and every time it would come by, it had this little eye and this little red light, and I'd go, "Hi, how are you?" I would talk to it. It was my friend, you know. But so it's like CT no, scanners uh, are you, like a donut. <clears throat> Yeah. They lay you on a table and it's yeah. got a yeah. Yeah. it's got a yeah. series of spinning cameras. You can actually feel wind yeah. coming out. Yeah, off but of but it. they can yeah, see it actually felt like an air inside that table. They might an not an MRI is is loud and yeah, it's loud. and by but the way, by the way, you can you see can you can, I'm telling you right now, and you're wrong if you're saying otherwise, Alan. Doc Alan is <laughs> uh, as Jack mistakenly calls you. Uh yeah, um, uh, it, it, the CT scan can see cancer. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's what I, they were looking for with the CT scan when they did the whole CT scan on me. They were looking for lymph you know nodes was, that were large. They would look for cancer. You were right about that, Alex, cancer. because I asked the guy, I went, because the doctor's office is in New Hyde Park, so right there, it's like all hospital buildings for St. Francis. So I could have did the CT scan, but I didn't want to go all the way out to Long Island for it. So I figured I'll just do my brother. Oh, like, just I do see. The, because they had oh, the MRI. Right. So what wait, wait, wait. what you're break. saying is you had the MRI there. You could have yeah. gone. You could like have, it was in another building. We had to drive over to another building. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Or we would have to go all the way. He made the airport. So you know what it is? It is claustrophobic because when I was going in first lane. Oh, I know. I, I, I won't even do an MRI. If they want me to oh, do an MRI, they're going to have to do an open MRI with me and find I said, you got to take me out. She says, why? She says, I got I to gotta close my eyes going into this thing. Because when I first went, I was like, oh, man, there's like, no, it's right on top of me. No, I, I, like, would, oh. I would go crazy. Yeah, I got, I calmed down. I was actually getting a little excited. I said, all right, let me calm down. Yeah, but that's and why I, they also. You were getting excited? Well, I was, also, I go to, I go to Mount Sinai for a lot of this stuff, and if I wanted an open MRI, I'm sure they have one there somewhere. You know, I just relaxed my body though, really. I kind of just never opened my eyes. Good. That was it. Did you have coffee first? I had water. I didn't really drink coffee. No, because I didn't want to eat anything. Before you, I, left. I, just, you, you, I had a piece of toast. Yeah, but you know, but CT scan is uh, is what they used, for instance, yeah, on I, all I, my I would treatments. Have had blood out there for yeah. Maybe. Because they, they can they can look and see you know what's happening whether your bladder is full or not and yeah. stuff like that. But anyway, so when do you finally start getting all um, these treatments? Then I start. I have to go for simulation the seventeenth, and then I'll probably be starting treatments in November, like the first or first week. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, they do a, what they call a rehearsal. That's what they call yeah. mine. I explain. Uh, I don't have anything else to hurt. No tie tube. She says, yeah. no, don't worry. But when they do the finish with the rehearsal, when they're finished, you go and scene. Yeah, I says, wow, look at that. I, I, I was thinking of like a happy time. So I went in and, so, and then I just relaxed because I knew Alex, if I would have opened my eyes, I would have got agitated. Oh, oh no, no. I, 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 I couldn't open don't, my eyes. Don't even I, talk to me about it. I didn't even want I to could, know about it. Yeah. My mother couldn't do that. Yeah, it was just like, oh, God, I could, I just, I couldn't open them. I mean, so, Tony. Tony, if you got to do it again, ask them for some Versed or some Valium 
and you'll be calm. Now you're he, giving drug uh, advice. Yeah. Alex, Alex, he gave me value the last time when he had you the bottom of I didn't, I I didn't said, what is he give take him the drug. I just told him to ask the doctor to give him a sedative. You guys are pussies. I dive in caves and nothing bothers me. <laughs> You dive in the, the, the bat cave. Doesn't yeah, I go count. to. I dive in this uh, several times. I've gone to the cenotes in the Yucatan oh, Peninsula, uh, and uh, those are oh, underwater. Get, well, welcome caves. once again to another travelogue with yeah. Bill. Okay, uh, it's he it's wants a very to impress, impress us where he impress us with where he's been. My he sister wanted to go into probably room. left his Trump I was poster in, in there. <laughs> uh, I was uh, in Cancun, Cozumel, and uh, 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 Tulum, uh, in that area where, uh, well, yeah. where the snow oh, days oh, are. Oh, wonderful, Phil. Did, yeah. did you take <laughs> Did you take if, pictures? If did you bring them back? If, do you want to yeah, share them with you, us? Hello, the, Brian. How are you? Bookends? Brian, <laughs> you want to yeah. try and get a word in edgewise just for the fun of it? No, it's okay. In my mind, computer. the show's already done. <laughs> He's still looking for his computer. No, actually. Well, I, I know other people who've gone to all those places. Yeah. I've been to those places. Yeah. yeah. Did you dive? I didn't dive. No, I'm not I'm not suicidal. No, I I went diving to all these places. Yeah. You did you yeah. you 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 scuba dived? That's I used to, yeah. Oh wow. Uh, no, he's a tr he's a double threat. He not only can scuba dive, but he can steal cars too. He's true. <laughs> <laughs> the cops pull him over. He says, "Where were you at?" I said, "I was skin diving." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that about you. That's it's you know. Yeah, so Jeff, what, where have you dove? I bet if we just did a whole night of just interviewing Jeff, we could find out some amazing things. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and the, same, that Phil's and, not on, so and the same thing Jeff. with Charlie. I mean, Charlie, Charlie is a physicist. That, that, that was my suggestion. I said, why don't you rotate Wednesdays and highlight the different people on the panel? And I thought that was a good idea. A bad idea, really. If you had Jeff on, and yeah, Jeff. like yeah, I want, I like I want to, I want to spend fifteen minutes interviewing you, Tony. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that you'd be <laughs> oh look, then, oh look, we've got, comic. we've got one person listening to us now. Forty-three. <laughs> <laughs> comes back. <laughs> so, Tony, what did you have for lunch today? What did I have today? Oh. Chicken. chicken. You made chicken. I had only bananas, Jeff. I actually. Oh, that's ate. right. In the text, it said make yeah, chicken. He, he, yeah. So, we have a we have like a little group chat, and oh, yeah. uh, Phil left us, but it's okay. But uh, Tony updates us on all the food he's cooking. Yeah. yeah I, one, one I made football, Charlie football this weekend. I make it another stew, I think, for the weekend. And where do you do this group chat on Facebook? On yeah, Messenger. 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 Yeah, Messenger on Facebook. Yeah, right. <clears throat> we had Phil on there, but I think we we're blasting him, and then he left the group. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to thank everybody here for. Still blast them. <laughs> I, I want to thank everybody here for not inviting me. <laughs> we talk a lot of sports too, so. Uh, then I was really interested in that. <laughs> well, you know what I do is on on Saturday nights I get together with um, uh, with uh, uh, Josh Patrick. And Patrick and 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 uh, Kevin, and we just have it. We talk for about two hours, just about everything, you know. But reason we don't put it on on the air anywhere, is because they feel, and quite rightly so, that they feel they can talk about anything they want to. But if they didn't, uh, if they broadcast it, they'd have to watch what they were saying, you know. Mm -hmm. So I agree. You know, so uh, we have some very nice, com very interesting conversations. You know. I, I agree. I, There's a lot of stuff that I won't talk about because because of your uh, job. Yeah, you, you, yeah. See, so I'm retired. I can talk about anything. Well, that was the reason why. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rob. Uh, Rob. Yeah. Stop yeah. calling. Was because yeah. he said to me, he says, "It's not that I don't want to call your show, not that I don't like your show, but I'm just afraid that with my current yeah. job, if they hear me give my opinion out like this." I'll get into trouble or lose my job for it. He said that he had a neighbor in his court mm -hmm. that 
heard him on the show and that's when he said oh wait a minute if my neighbor could hear me my boss can hear me or my customer I, I, yeah i've had i've had one guy at work this was like uh, two years ago one guy at work messaged me through work through our teams and he said oh i heard you on the alex bennett show and oh i said oh really <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well you know you i mean fired him the next day right I tried to, but I wasn't his boss. <laughs> so you asked your wife to do it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so, I mean, that's, you know, that, I, I know why you're, you know, so so we just don't even put them out. We just sit here and we just talk, you know, it's, it's fine. And Patrick can be as surly as he wants to, you know, and yeah. Josh can pontificate for hours mm -hmm. on end. And it's, 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 I, I enjoy it. It's uh Nice little, t and it's, I, I don't feel I'm performing, so I, you know. I can it gives Kevin the chance to open his mail. Yeah, in another month or two, my photo club is going to start meeting again. Oh, thank that, God. That meets That's on Wednesdays. Guys. So that means that twice a month, instead of having me four times a month, I'll do the two times and, and feature uh, Jeff or charlie or or brian i mean they're all extremely interesting people brian has some great hobbies and brian and and jeff uh, god he's a he's a wealth of knowledge you know i, I mean maybe it'd be something new and fresh i know yeah. you don't like ideas so you know? anything but you would be new and fresh i mean that's <laughs> that's goes without saying even used toilet paper would be better yeah that's true that's why the game you do on the show then hmm Aren't why you are well, you afraid that they won't have to for you anymore? No, it's equal opportunity, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I, I, and that's that you're going to have your photo club again. That's when you go and beat up on all of those old people who take pictures. Yes, yes. but a lot of them dropped out because we haven't had in-person meetings for so long. Because yeah. they're uh, dying. They're yeah, dying. Well, some of them did. So you're the only one left, so you're going to win <clears throat> every week. Yeah, that, well, yeah, that's true. Bring some donuts or something for him, Phil. At the senior center that this is at, they won't let Phil in now that they found out he's a Trump supporter. <laughs> I'm sure there's one or two other closet Trump supporters in the uh, in the center. Yeah, he looks probably. like Trump. None Did of them in the photo. Well, by the way, this how are you Ross feeling? Trump? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tr let me just get his temperature. How, how are you feeling about Trump these days, Tony? I'm going to be honest, Phil. I'm kind of tired of him now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tony, I'd be honest, too. I'm tired of him, too. But uh, are, are you guys breaking up on the air? This is so. This is, so <laughs> this is the end, huh? This is no, the, I, this I, I prefer DeSantis. Uh, Tony, I think Trump was Tony, great. he sent you a gold ring, keep it. Yeah. I think, I think, I think what great. you're saying, though, what you're saying, is something that makes a lot of sense is that i think that people are getting tired of trump i mean they're getting tired uh, they're just exhausted from trump you know so he's exhausted. 450 million what the way he's fighting you know well, he's, he's, yeah he's he, five he always files. Gonna make money now, this he's guy. not he's not gonna make that he he's that the thing if, to begin with he's asked the supreme court about the you know about the stuff that they did at mar-a-lago uh, yeah. They're not even going to. They're probably not even going to take the case. Uh, I don't know. They're yeah. reviewing no. it, and it's no, and it's, they're, uh, no. They're reviewing uh, Clarence it, Thomas, Phil. Phil. They're it's Clarence Thomas that's got to review it for the uh, that Southern District. His wife. The, f the uh, fact is that they will. They have to agree to take the case to rule on it, and they will not take that case. They just. Don't, I, I don't think they want the, any part of that. So the last court decision stands if they don't do anything. Well, we'll see. You know, I mean, uh, I would, I would be willing to bet you that the Supreme Court will not take the case. I hope not. You know, they're not loyal to them anyhow. Because they, they turn down more cases than they accept. You can't just say, "I'm going to the Supreme Court with this," and then the Supreme Court says, "Oh, sure, come ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll vote they on it." Turned down four two A cases today. Two, two A cases? What are those? Two A Second cases. Amendment. Huh? Second Amendment. Oh. He looks like he aged to me too, Trump. What, what, mean, what, mean, what do you mean two second what were they? What were they? Uh one was um uh Carrie where this PhD guy from Massachusetts who had a uh concealed weapons permit mm -hmm. went to a museum 
in Washington, D.C., Mm -hmm. saw a sign that said no guns allowed so he asked the security guard if he could check his gun mm -hmm. uh and they arrested him and then uh what happened was when he went to uh, buy a gun it had been 10 years since this he went to buy a gun in massachusetts they wouldn't let him buy one because he had a uh, misdemeanor conviction with a firearm and uh because he pled guilty mm -hmm. so this went up to the supreme court <clears throat> and uh i Think, I don't think it went his way. No, no, it isn't a question of his way or not his way. Did they take the case? Because right now they're uh, not. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't. No, right I now don't, they're not. Uh, they're not passing. You know, not deciding on any issues. They're deciding what they're going to take and not take. I don't believe they took the case. And there was a couple of other. Oh, bump stocks. Uh, uh, they uh, uh, the a ATF said that bump stocks are a machine gun. So they rewrote the code to say that bump stocks were mm -hmm. a, a constitute a machine gun. Mm -hmm. And I guess the Supreme Court shot that one down too to the lower court, which said it was. So uh, th those are two of the four yeah. cases. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, they don't take every case that comes before them. And just because Trump, Trump, all Trump is doing by going to the Supreme Court is just, he's trying to slow things down, you know? He's trying I, to keep, no, he's trying to keep, trying to keep the wheels of progress from going. So, I mean, he, but this is his last chance, you know. What would be so bad if he was just protecting his rights? Well, they, they I don't think they think he's protecting his rights. That they, well, they, 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 no, I mean, they could just feel they do not want to dis make a decision on this because they don't see that there's a case there. Mm -hmm. um, I, Most I criminals try and protect their rights. Yeah, they they uh, may try to send it down to the lower court and... Uh, you know, that wouldn't be good for Trump, but... Be it, 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 this is not going to go Trump's way. Eventually, he's not going to get that stuff back, you know. But he'll be president by that time, and he wouldn't have no, to No, he's not going to be president. Believe me. You what said, country? You said you were getting yeah. tired of him. Tony's tired of him already, you mm -hmm. know. Look, I bought the hat, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I dare you to wear that for a full day. Uh, not in California. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I dare you to wear it for a full day. Not in the Bay Area. We got yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So much, so much for your enthusiasm. I'm you know. aware of that. Yeah. Your convictions uh, are not showing, Phil. You know. Uh, oh well, you know. Uh, there's uh, one sign behind me that says <laughs> Trump won. Get over it. I saw that. I didn't believe. Fortunately, that. Trump didn't win. <laughs> I wrote my lawyer about something, and it was, had something to do with my landlords who were like questioning something or another. And I just simply wrote to him and back, and I said, "You know, when are the landlords going to realize they lost?" I said, "Well, who do who they think they are? Trump?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, or Hillary. She can't run it. I hope she. Doesn't. She Hillary. didn't admit that she lost. As she no, thought she the did. election was stolen. She won. Then, by, she, won by, she won by. She won by the. Abrams. She won by the, the majority. She well, won that, the majority. that's not how you win. You, I you know. win. Right. Right. And she has never college. fought the electoral college vote. And she never. She and never she had never, one protest rally. She never told people to go storm the Capitol or anything <laughs> over that. But the words that, that came out of her mouth was, "I won," and it was stolen. No, no, she didn't no, say, she didn't say she Sorry, never yeah. said that. She never said that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. He got to Failure be your band one he, week, no it, show. No, let let's Time let, let's, let's let's hand Phil it to, on, let's, uh, let's hand it to Phil. He waited till the last moment to be in a complete <laughs> moron. Okay. Thank you, Phil, for being here tonight. And thank you to uh, our good friend Charlie Wallace for being here, as mm -hmm. well as Alan and Jeff and Tony and brian and this has been a lot of fun and i think you should give a big wave goodbye and i'll wave goodbye back at you okay there they go folks that's our citizen panel for tonight let me just uh, get them out of here so that they're you know they're free to go anyway up next uh jack bishop is going to be doing his show tonight yep he's back and running five nights a week and uh, he's going to have a great show tonight so you give him a call in the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, uh, 10.30 on the East Coast of the United States. 
Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, as always, and I'd like to admonish you, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.